What is up guys, Jake from OneHive here with the next Elite 8 video. Let's get right to it. A few interesting things have changed since the update uh, with Town Hall 8 attacks and we are going to talk about them as we see them go down here. Um, with the addition of that new dark spell, of course the time is, a, is not a factor really, but I mean obviously it makes things easier. But right here, look at this attack. Four quake spells now. You can bring that and have two spells left over with the addition of the, of the donated troop. So it... For lack of a better uh, term on it, you've got a jump spell at Town Hall 8, and you don't have to use all of your spells on it. Before, if you did that, you only had the one spell remaining. Uh, now you can have two spells remaining, and that is very, very powerful. So you can either use it, we'll watch it a little bit later, taking out uh, whatever's in the CC troop with poison spells, or you can use it like this for a jump spell to open it up for a compartment for your golem, your king, and in this case, some Valks to go in and uh, obviously get those air defenses taken down and come in with some back-end loons. Uh, and really, really nice go Valo here. Uh, everything's down there, the king, the Valks. Um, moving right in, drops a few more Valks, and then there's the CC with the maxed out Valks in there. Drops the Rage spell, just lets them tear through there, and as they get to the core, drops that heal spell, knowing that they're going to be taken care of. And I love the early balloons. Look how early these loons are. Beautiful. Uh, the Valks, the, all that, just tearing through that core. Only one AD left as the balloons even get in range. Uh, it does take like one or two of them out, but right here, it's closing in, and kaboom, it's gone. And look how there are very few defenses left at this point. Uh, absolutely smashed this base. I am Sparta. Uh, beautiful attack. Loved it. Loved everything about it. Loved the plan. Loved the execution. And again, loved those early balloons. So right there, taking down these last few defenses. One more to go. Uh, two more to go, actually, on that. But uh, the Valks are still up. Got a couple outside troops working their way around. We'll fast forward. Uh, clearly, they're going to get their way through and get the three-star. Good job, buddy. All right, we'll fast forward on, show the three-star on this one. Valk's doing a little cleanup at the end. They have to get in there and get that storage. There it goes. All right, moving on, let's look at 22, which is uh, two scoops. Uh, let's see, doing a, a little bit different attack, coming at this one with a, a golem, wants to get in there. The golems on this one's more or less, it's not even about getting uh, in there and triggering bombs. I mean, it could, the way he sends it, get some bombs. Uh, but it's more about just tanking for everything else. And right here, brings the CC troops out, drops one poison. There's no need to wait for the for the poison to wear off to drop your next poison. You can go ahead and drop it immediately. Uh, Scoops lets it lets it kick. But again, that they do stack. There's no there's no have to wait there. Uh, so lets it stack and lets it takes out that dragon. And that's the other use you can use with this extra dark spell that you get at Town Hall Eight is you can take out if they're upgraded. That is. You can take out anything. Max dragons, doesn't matter. Two poison spells, they're done. Uh, so just lure them out, drop the poison on them, wait for the time. You've got the extra time, and then send in your troops here. So right here, he sends in the golem, a couple of wizards, and his king. Uh, they're going to go right in. And again, look at that. It's not so much about uh, what they're taking out or anything like that, but look at what all they're tanking. There's like four or five point defense targeting them, uh, and then he can send his hogs in. So they're tanking for all that as his hogs start to work their way in, not taking near as much damage as they would have, and they are eliminating some spots where some potential double giant bombs could be. Uh, then send his hogs in on the backside, just working his way through here, drops that one heal spell down. He's got one more for him. Uh, so a beautiful attack. Absolutely crushes this base right there as they get to the core. There is another di uh, giant bomb. Uh, but, but the bulk of his hogs are pretty much safe here. Drops that last heal spell down, and that is a wrap. We will fast forward through the last few defenses as the hogs just work their way through. We've got witches still up. He's got wizards still up. He's got a bunch of stuff still up. Absolutely crushed that base. Good job, two scoops. All right, Diego. Diego always bringing solid attacks. Taking on number 27. Doing it with a Govaho this time, and again, just using those quakes as a jump spell. You know, that's what they, that's what you got. Just opening it wide open. You still have the two heal spells. So powerful, in my opinion. This attack right here, Govaho, Govalo, um, especially for anti-two style bases, very, very powerful attack right now. Uh, so he drops the quakes down right there, opens it all up, brings the CC troops to the bottom. Normal CC kill here. You know, this is stuff that you guys have done at Town Hall 8 for months and months, so you should ought to be comfortable with it. Even if you want to use those dark spells uh, for uh, the quakes instead of the poison spells, it should not be a problem. Again, y'all have done that a million times. So right there, drop the golem down, the wall breakers all down, some wizards behind, and here come the Valks and the uh, king in just a moment. Right there, the CC Valks, there's the king. Everything working its way in. 
Uh, they can just get so far into this basin. Again, it's it's great because they take out a lot of stuff, the, the Valks especially. They're taking out a lot of things, but they are also once you start deploying your hogs, they are also tanking for a lot of things that are trying to flank them, and your hogs can just walk in, not untouched, but very well protected, let's say. Uh, it does have that heal spell down for his Valks. Same rules apply. Heal spell there. Nothing is threatening them. Go ahead and use that king ability, which I think is very smart to go ahead and tear through that core. Comes in with the hogs up top. But look at it right here. As they work through that first layer, nothing's targeting them. They, the cans finally turn around, but they were almost to them by the time they even targeted the hogs. Uh, some of those archer towers still targeting uh, those stuff in the core. Uh, the cannon on the left here still targeting. I mean, his hogs are just in great shape. They come right across. Uh, pretty much untouched and take out those last few defenses and then from there it is just clean up quite a bit of cleanup to do uh, but luckily he gets a little bit of a split on his hogs and they've got plenty of time to get around the base and get all that taken care of excellent attack by Diego all right we're going to back out of that one and go to our current war and check out a few attacks first one is a uh, noob a noob taking on number 23 and doing it with another goho uh, using the quakes to open up that interior right there, just wide open that base is now. All he's got to do is get in, and then from there his, his troops can go wherever they want, basically. Uh, interesting that he went right where he did, but he does have four wall breakers. Uh, but, you know, there's not a real straight path to that compartment that he opened up. Uh, sends a few hogs in, just wants to get in range of that CC right there, perfectly done. Uh, balloon and Dragon come out. And he's just going to pull them down and take care of them here at the bottom. So normal uh, kill right here. A few barbs, few wizards, just sprinkle them in. Stuff that, again, you guys have been doing for a while. You know how to do it. And then the golem comes in. Drops it down. Wizards to create the funnel. The wizards that he used for his kill squad are actually creating the funnel at the bottom, which I really like that. Uh, does the two wall breakers to open up the first compartment. He's got two more for the next compartment to get in there where he actually did all of the... Uh, the quakes and stuff like that. So it has to go through two layers to get there, but does a nice job here. It drops the rage, very important. That's when he sends the next wall breakers in and he staggers them. You see one got taken out, I believe. The next one opened it right up uh, and they get in, start triggering those double giant bombs. Now with the double giant bombs triggered and that P.E.K.K.A., the King, the Golem, all that going through the core, his hogs again are not only uh, protected because they trigger double giant bombs, but a large section of the base is actually being uh, Focusing on those on those kill squads in the core. So as his hogs work their way through, nothing is even paying attention to them. Uh, starts still deploying hogs around the top there, sending them in just surgical style and drops that last heal. Uh, beautiful attack, love it. I love the way he did that with the rage and the, and the wall breakers and got into that core and had it opened up for him. Just really really nice. Uh, last defense goes down and that is an easy three star. As he's got hogs up, he's got wizards up, he's got his king still up. Just getting the clean up. Getting a three star. Good job to a noob. All right, one more for you guys. Then we'll wrap this episode up. Uh, 24, Day Day, taking on uh, this base with just a straight up hog. You know, a lot of times, and, and I show these other attacks, and I love showing you guys these other attacks, but this is the meta. This is what is normally done. A whole bunch of hogs, a small kill squad. In this case, you don't even need a kill squad because of the fact that as a dragon loon, he's got two poisons. Uh, he can drop poisons right on top of them, take them out. Uh, and he's also, look what he's done here with his, with his lure and, and, and all that. He's taken out two giant bombs, and now with these poisons, taking out the kill squad. There's only one giant bomb left in the base, and he's got three heals for uh, 25 plus hogs. Uh, he's got in, in the CC. So this is it, guys. This is how you're going to take out 90% of the bases out there. Lure, poison. Uh, don't even worry about a big kill squad. You don't need it. This is actually probably too big a kill squad. Seven wizards. Uh, six barbs. I think the reason that this one didn't go down here is he did not have a fully upgraded. Uh, oh, sorry, they did go down there. So say the dragon didn't go down. That was a different attack that didn't have a fully upgraded poison spell. Here come the hogs. Just basically a three finger drop, sending them all in. Again, he's only got the one giant bomb to wor worry about here, and he's got the three heals. I mean, he can just drop this whenever he wants to. Keep his hogs up as they work through the base. He's got five more to deploy still. Uh, so just drops heals on both sides, keep those hogs going, and as he gets down towards the bottom, we'll deploy the rest of those. I uh, love the king for, as a tank for two-point defense there. That's perfect, beautiful. Uh, still has a heal spell left. Can just let the hogs work their way through. Right there, just those hogs that are having to deal with those uh, skeletons and all that drops the heal. They kind of vent, uh, veer out of it just for a moment, but they get back into it. 
uh, and it protects them. Uses the king's ability. Last few defenses go down. They turn around and deal with the skeletons and that defending king, and that's a three-star. But I just want to show you guys one of those attacks. It's not as flashy. It's not as exciting, but it is what works on basically all the bases. You lure, you poison, you send your hogs in, you heal them up, you get the three-star. That's Town Hall 8. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good job to everybody at Genesis. Keep killing it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.